Hello, everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon Adventure. Last time, it went in a direction I was not expecting. We went on a road trip all across the continents. <laughs> the first one, we brought Archon with us, and he just immediately was just not having it. Latios and Latias got stoned, just turned to stone. Entei doesn't like us. But hey, it's a legendary actually trying to do things. That's kind of nice. And mostly we were just preparing for a field trip expedition of some sort that Ampharos is going to bring the expedition society on. So that'll be exciting. But... Yeah, just, it feels, aside from the fact that, like, the main story has finally hit the main characters to a degree, it uh, didn't feel like too much has happened. But I don't know, it's like, I, I still kind of enjoy the slow burn nature of the, of the story so far. Again, it'll just come down to if they can stick the landing. If they can punch me in the gut emotionally and make the whole the whole story just feel good. If the pacing can really pay off there. But considering that, like, uh, Gates to Infinity managed it, and, like, I've heard a lot of good, like, like, I... It's weird because I've heard good things about Super Mystery Dungeon. It's, like, appears to be a lot of people's favorite when it comes to, like, the 3D Mystery Dungeon games. So, I'm expecting at least decent things from it. <laughs> it's still amazing that, like, we're nearly 19 hours in, and it doesn't feel like things have hit the fan just yet. Like, by this point, I think we were almost done with GTI. And even then, with, like, Gates to Infinity mostly being a bit low-key for the first half, we had at least actually adventured to the, like, Glacial Palace, so it'll be interesting to see what doth happens. What will happen, where we go, what emotional stabs to the heart there will be, but let's get on with it. Let's get a movie on. <laughs> it feels like we're not far into the grander plot, but uh, we are seven streams in, so by definition, the pacing is good, just a lot more mellow and sending mystery or seeding mysteries. That's definitely it. It's mostly just that, like, it doesn't have the pacing of any of the other mystery dungeon games. By by from by this point in like rescue team, we were already fugitives and our friends were trying to kill us. By this point in explorers, we were kidnapped in the future. By this point in GTI, we were being hunted by a murder cult, it feels like. <laughs> but here, they're like, letting characters have moments a bit more. Just like, letting you do expedition society things. Of like, here, go fill out your connection orb a bit. Here, go adventure across the various continents a little bit. And it's just like, it's nice, it's just different. So there's always just that little uh, tingling anxiety at the back of my head. It's just like, what if they screw it up? <laughs> What if they don't? What if they don't stick the landing? Just watching the game do a million flips in the air. It's like, are they gonna land? Are they gonna land? The next morning, our big trip is here at last, Neon. I can't wait. Chapter fourteen: A fun outing with a little bit of space after the G or before the G. Everyone, today is the day for our trip. Have you made your preparations? Nobody has, have they? What? What? I still haven't gotten our lunch boxes ready. Specifically, not a super big one for me. I could also use some pocket money. I would like to have groomed my wings a bit more for the occasion. Well, well, well. Seems we're in a bit of trouble. Understood. As soon as you are all ready for our trip, please notify Didne. For the time being, dismissed. One thing I also just realized, like, everybody here, like, mostly everybody here either seems to be an early evolution or a single evolution. 
like, we have a Buzel instead of a Floatzel. I forget, the, there's the bunny guy, he's not evolved. There's Archon, I think he has an evolution. I don't think Dedene has an evolution, but I could be wrong about that. Swirlix has an evolution. Jirachi is legendary, Ampharos is an evolution, and then Mawile is a single stage. So it's just like, we have the upper tier of Dedene, Jirachi, Ampharos, and Mawile, then everybody else is kind of on the same playing field. And I will say it again, it amuses me so much that it feels like the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games alone, single-handedly, have shifted, like, the perception of Riolu. Because, like, it's a baby Pokemon! It is not treated like a baby Pokemon. Again, you don't see Pichu replacing Pikachu in the selection list for these games. <laughs> it's just funny to me. Let's go get ready for the trip! We should let Dedene know when we're ready. We're definitely not going to do a circuit of the various continents because that would take a little bit and we want to get things moving, but I will wander around, see if there's any, like, dropped items like this. We got a tiny reviver seat. This is why you wander around. Mm, I just can't decide. I'll just need to pack, I'll need to pack food and food. Oh, and food, then. The can't decide is a mood. I expect we'll be visiting another continent, so make sure you're ready for anything. Let Dedene know when you're ready for the adventure of a lifetime! Does that imply that we're gonna die on this adventure? Looks like it should be a fun outing. Then we'll head into town, talk to people, organize our inventory. Bunnelby. I kept forgetting your name. You have to prepare well for these things. Hmm, what should I do? I guess I better start off making sure that my items are all in order. Then maybe I should trim my wings a bit. Well, first things first. We'll sell that apple. We'll need another... Blah, blah, blah. Definitely keep a revive all orb just in case. And yeah, we're just like never gonna use an Emera up, so. Hmm, do we want special defense or attack? I think special defense because not everybody uses attack as their main stat. For some reason, also, just hit me. This music reminds me of Xenoblade Chronicles a little bit. I think it's the guitar. I, like, have not played much of it. I need to get around to it at some point. At some point, I need to get to it. All right, we'll sell that apple, keep all the rest. Bring out a few... Not Reviver Seeds, Oran Berries. Hello, hello! I have absolutely love your videos so very much because your videos are so much fun. And as always, keep it up with fantastic work because you are the best and very amazingly talented person. Thank you very much. I do indeed shall try to keep things a-going. At least I've been keeping my, like, stream schedule consistent. I don't think I've missed a day yet. At the very least. Which is something. I'll buy two apples as a, like, stock-up precaution, and we'll put them away. Also, it just, it just hit me. We've yet to find more, like, uh, open-up boxes. We've yet to find open-up boxes for, uh, like, from Klefki. It was, like, the first dungeon on our way to Lively Town have yet to find any more. And if you want to learn any new moves to use, now's the time to do it. I can clean the air by using photosynthesis. Ecology conscious, aren't I? Apparently Duduo is feeling under the weather and taking today off from running. It seems like he ran a little too much. Harsh. Why wow, there's so many annoying Pokemon from the Expedition Society around today? 
And more importantly, you haven't seen Mr. Crocodile around, have you? <laughs> I'm starting to get the feeling that Crocodile is in fact not going to be the Team Meanie's Team Skull of the game, and instead going to probably be a, a Pokemon that gets turned to stone. I'm Rampardos, I used to run a business called Bucks Buster. Because every single shop that we've ever known except Kecleon is dead now. Watch me perform my specialty, Pan Pouring Fountain. Shelter just bit me. Must have happened years ago. Hey, a Servine. We never did evolve Snivy Neon. Do you want to see how I use vines? It may be too fast for your eyes to follow. All right, Carbos and Earthquake. We are, I don't think we have anybody that can even use Earthquake, but we're gonna get that Carbos. I believe that's for speed. I'm gonna use it. Definitely to, well, not deposit. Up, just Carbos. Good, good. We'll have to check it out and see who should use it. Should I bring any wands? Hmm. Hmm. Like, maybe I should bring, like... It depends. Maybe this, like... So is this, like... Do all the wands get, like... Poured into each other? Let me see. Okay, so maybe wands are nice to use if you have, like, one, and then you can, like, power it up, technically, by just hit pouring a million other wands into it. Hmm. And might as well, since we got Carbos, why not exchange for some items? Hmm. I'll grab a protein for me. And then we'll grab a calcium for the boy. Do that. And I do believe... Well, first things first, we'll go down here to see if there's anybody to talk to, any, like, items to find. Nope, just Lapras. <laughs> Please let this be a normal field trip. With with the dashing wanderer? No way! I don't believe I have everything, so let's -a go. Hey, Neon, ready for the trip? Indeed. Are you sure? Sure. Okay then, got it. It looks like everybody else is ready to go too. I'll let the chief know you're we're just about ready to leave. That's the first time that I think we've seen like a good shot of the entire building. Well, Jirachi and Dedene, the rest of us will be taking our leave. We're not taking the communications officer with us? Well, things are gonna go bad. Okay, take care out there, everybody. Huh? Aren't Dedene and Jirachi coming on the trip? Jirachi probably no, because he sleeps too much and uh, he's a legendary, so probably are at risk. Dedene, I don't know. I think it would be a good idea to bring the communications officer along. I'm in charge of communications, so I'll be holding down the fort. I'll have my astronomical observations. If I don't stay on top of them, we'll be in trouble. How will you be in trouble? <laughs> oh, that's too bad. But I guess it can't be helped if those are your jobs. Yep, enjoy a little bit extra for us. Will you have enough to eat without me around? We'll be fine, Swirlix, don't worry. If anything, we'll get bigger portions without you around. Very well then, everyone. The time has come to depart. Yay! Look after things while we're away. Got it. Have fun out there. Lapras is going to be like, oh my god, my aching back. It's hurting just looking at all these Pokemon I have to travel. How are we going to ride on Lapras for our trip? Oh, let me guess. Is it going to be like, oh no, one Lapras can't do it. You need a bigger Pokemon. Like Waylord, but Waylord can't do it because he's stone. Huh? 
So many of you. Well, I'll do what I can. Oh, I was wrong. Hold tight, everybody. It's gonna get shaky. Oh, I'm getting so dizzy. This field trip is already cursed. Me too. Hang in there, everyone. Yeah, and this trip is tougher than I thought. We'll be there shortly. Just a little bit longer, everybody. <laughs> Would you like to save your adventure? We're going to get stranded on an island, aren't we? We're going to die. Whoosh, whoosh. Where the hell is this? We have arrived! Uh, Manfros, where are we? Is it that other continent that we didn't have access to? Is this going to be like the Dark Continent? Or something? Is this going to be Mordor? The destination of our trip? Fire Island! It looks kind of harsh. This is not the kind of trip I was expecting. All right, everybody. Time for lunch. Swirlix, I'm going to have to disappoint you. First, we'll have some fun climbing a mountain. Lunch will come later. What? Our destination is over there. The peak of that volcano. That is a very well-rendered volcano. Let's make our way there. That looks like a pretty dangerous place. There's lava flowing and everything. Well, it should be fine. I plotted out our course to the summit in advance. It seems there are several possible routes. Therefore, let's split into groups so we can be picked off one by one. Archin, Bunnelby, and Swirlix, you'll be one group. The next group will be Buzel, Gabriel, and Neon. Darn, I wanted Mawile. Then again, this is a volcano, so Mawile could have potentially just been a uh, hindrance. Ever so slightly. But hey, we get a, a water Pokemon for the fireplace. That works. Mawile, I'd like to ask you to come with me. Understood. Each group will aim for the summit. Let's all enjoy our climb to the top. All right. Then please discuss your strategy for reaching the summit with your group. As soon as you're ready, you may leave. Buzel, my, may I borrow you for a moment? Ooh, conspiracy. How about we come up with a strategy for snacking on our lunches early? That's not a strategy at all. Buzel, take good care of Gabriel and Neon. There are many dangerous fire-type Pokemon here. I would like to have left this to Mawile, but she's steel and fairy-type Pokemon. Fire-type Pokemon are not a good matchup for her. Hey, I was right. <laughs> There's a, that's the in-universe rationale. I think for someone as strong as Mawile, type matchups don't really matter. But I understand. I'm a water-type Pokemon. I've got an advantage here, so I can cover for them. Please do. One more thing. If you should happen to encounter Intei, you mustn't... I don't know, Chief. I'm not sure if I can make any promises. I want to see what I've got against it. <laughs> okay, Buzel, slightly Blood Knight. You can't, though. He's too strong. Until the rest of us get there, please restrain yourself. Are we here to beat up Entei for information? <laughs> Where are you, Entei, you motherfucker? Where's my money? <laughs> got it. I'll do only what I can. Buzel, I'd win. Hey, Buzel, what was that all about? Don't sweat it, it was nothing. Let's just focus on enjoying our trip. Okay, let's get to the summit. Ooh. What's the word I'm looking for? Didgeridoo. Good luck, Gabriel and Neon. I guess Mawile hates Buzel. As soon as your group is ready, feel free to head in. Gotta find a chance to eat something. Gabriel and Neon, good luck. And Buzel, I trust you'll look after them. It's fine to take your time, I say. Whoa! This music! 
Do your best. And this is your first outing with the group, after all. This music is bopping! Come on! We're going to make it to the peak! I do like how this establishes more that, for, uh, as silly as he is, Amphros is thinking ahead and actively looking out for you. Yep. Vacuum! Shit! I'll beat you up on my own, then. Again, this music is super good. All right, raises speed. I should do that. The more, the better my speed, the more I can effectively annihilate our foes. Then raise my protein levels. And calcium for the boy. This music is so good! Force bomb! Could you use Psy Wave? That would have worked very well against this guy. Well, not very well, but better than your fire-based move, Gabriel. I get it. You're a kid, but do you not know your elements? Dark type. Aw, oh, damn it. I missed again. But man, the music is so good. I love it. Hey, a save device. Super critical. We'll plop that in. Big ears. We'll put that in for now so that we have more information on our enemies. Hmm. Yeah, I just, I never use the rocks. Well, that's just mean. Oh, my belly will empty. Empty slightly, but not a lot. Okay, so it's not a terrible one. Kind of mean, but it only lowered it by like 20 belly. <laughs> From Twitch chat, the song is so freaking peak. Oh, yes, it is. It's so good. I'll go ahead and eat this Hornberry, raise my health. <laughs> Hello, listening to the best dungeon theme, are we? That we are. I'm raising my force palm. Oh, I think that was a bit overkill. That guy was already dead. Don't care about these rocks. So good. Well, let's move this way. Prepare yourself, Hound Hour. Nom. Get blasted, idiot. Emerald Dust. Raise your attack all you want. You'll still die. This is just such a beat. Nom. You're a water type, aren't you? I guess not. I thought you were a water type. That's always what I associate it with. Then again, I probably could have just looked at this to see what its type was, but I didn't. Because I am a fool! Well, that's just mean. How dare you die! Eh, sure, why not? I just... Oh, but we have, we have to go this way. I'm just not very good at Pokemon typings, am I? Well, 
that was very mean. Die. How dare you be too fast for me? Get schmacked. That was a super critical too. T double super critical. Life does not like you. I think a confused wand is better. Well, actually, I'm never going to use a progress device. Then again, I could sell it, maybe. I wish I knew your value. How am I missing? He's a literal rock. Man, listening to this one again after using it for a vid is kind of weird for me. It activates my video editing mode. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, another weather looplet, but doesn't matter too much. Wand expert? Mm -hmm. I guess since I did bring wands, I'll go ahead and plug that in. Eh, ah, just rocks. I got a rock. Power boost Y for the boy! Actually, hey, we can give you, uh... I guess out of everything, we'll give this to Buzel. Well, he can double tap a, a fire type with fire type abilities, so things must be good. Welcome. Hmm. I wonder if I eat them if he'll get angry. What's an energy seed? Restores your HP quite a lot. Additionally, also increases your max HP only during the adventure. Hmm. Pekka Looplet, Tiny Reviver Seed. Hmm. Well, let's see if there's anything I want to sell. Like this. And what I can do is pick up this Energy Seed. And then I'll go ahead and use the energy seed. Well, wait, wait, well, one second. I'll read it again. If your max HP is 100 or more, your max HP won't increase unless you eat it when your HP is full. I am not at 100, so I'll go ahead and eat it. Nom. Now, I'll pick this up, buy this apple, I will eat it. Then I'll come down here, I'll pick this up, pay for that as well, booyah. So I can get my, f my force power back. Inventory management. Back to the didgeridoos. We gotta strategize here. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. We are in a volcano. Get blasted, idiot. How far away are you? Ah, he's already dead. Ha, fool. Again, this music is just so good. Hey, Torkoal. Huh. For some reason. Hey, it's a book! We'll drop a looplet for a box. <laughs> Hell yeah! The power of box. It's overwhelming. What even was that trap? I'm not gonna step on it again. Power boost X! Hell yeah! Feel the weight of my power. Well, luckily, my allies 
Well, that's just mean. All right, uh, we'll take over Buzel. I cannot take over Buzel. That's a little mean. Wish I could take over Buzel. That would fix everything, but the game is mean. Okay, the confusion is way, way coming on way too long, game. Fuck off! That's bullshit! Confusion should not wait to go that long, you bastarding bitch. Confusion and noise! <laughs> Why do I get the feeling Groudon is up here? No, no, no. What is going to happen is uh, Intei is going to be up here and he's going to be a bastard too. <laughs> How did you pronounce uh, Buizel? I call him Buzel. I don't know. Buizel? I don't know. Pokemon names are weird. But at least if anybody was got... <laughs> Actually, we are a water type. How did you get burned? That feels illegal. Nobody else will move along. Haha, <laughs> barrage! Always lucky to get a barrage. Another big weather looplet. That could be for the boy. Oh, uh, uh, well, that's not the weather looplet I was looking for. But I'll take this Emera dust. Puts me closer to getting another Emera. Don't think I'll want to buy anything from you. Do I care about getting burned that much? I don't think so. And again, uh, what are my attacks like? Ah, eh, we're fine. The Pokemon is trapped in swirling flames and is unable to move from the spot. It also keeps taking damage. The status goes away after some time passes or when the Pokemon whoops... Excuse me. There. Whoops to somewhere else or gets blown away. At least I can still punch you. I'll go this way because Emerald Dust. Another power boost? Why? Get it, boy! Ah, so here's the exit. Yeah, get closer. I forgot that you guys can walk on lava. Psychopaths. Actually, come a little bit closer. So I can punch you in the schnoz. Twice, apparently. Now, you know what? I'm gonna go hunting. I want that weather looplet. Not for the stat things it does, but the fact that it will help me put Imra's on allies. Should I so desire. Guess we'll go ahead and uh, eat an apple. One of you picked up a weather looplet. Aha! Worked in my favor. Well, where the hell did the weather looplet go? I know I saw weather looplet down there. Or did I get a, that notification because my weather looplet activated? And it's like, oh, your weather looplet negated weather or something. I don't know. Here, you can have that. Oh, 
I probably should have looked at the, like, uh, message log. I just assumed that, like, oh, weather looplet appeared in ch the, the dialogue box? That must mean it's here. Yeah, get closer. Get closer. I'm not gonna come to you, you come to me. Oh man, this music is so good. Loads of money and more petrify wands. A guard boost, you say? That's for me! Let's beat up this bug! Man, eh, we don't care about the pounce wand. Gabriel, you got in the way and I pushed you. I wonder how OP linking moves would be in these games. Because I know they removed li the ability to link moves. Probably because adding on, like, Emeras and the team attacks and stuff. I've forgotten about alliance attacks. I haven't used them at all. Because I've never really felt the need to use them. More Emera dust is always a must. I smack you. I double smack you. Just kind of loosely filling in the map so I know there's nothing I'm missing. And having the big ears just makes it feel like there's a little bit of dwarf fortress happening below me. I'll just get out of here before anybody gets into a fight. Let's see. Ah, another Emerald. Yeah, you can destroy that Torkoal. Effect boost. I think that'll help you greatly. <laughs> Hello, YouTube dropped me he into here after watching an amazing Digital Circus video. Amazing Digital Circus? Always amazing. How are you doing, funny YouTuber? Are you enjoying this game? It is very fun. The music is great. Just occasionally the status effects come to annihilate me from on high. But so far I've been enjoying this slow burn. Great story of great characters. Hmm. Do I care to get rid of anything? Honestly, I'll take more defense over super critical. Detect loop? What is detect loop? I ask. It makes it easy for the holder to dodge attacks. Hmm. Not sure how that stacks up against defense, but we'll have to see. Probably should eat apple. Man, Swirlix must be upset. They're like, How come they get to eat food in the in the dungeon while I have to wait? You see, they're surviving. You're just a glutton. <laughs> I've missed like this whole playthrough might be no problem at all. Life comes in and gets in the way. That's why I tried to upload these to the YouTube channel, so I'll that was the big thing. That was the rainbow one, and I broke it. Granted, I don't think I would have been able to get to it anyway. Toughness. Ooh, I think I'll replace the wand. Haha, <laughs> get burned. Uh... <laughs> Bucks! Right as I mentioned at the beginning of this stream that we weren't getting any of the boxes to open up at Clef Keys. And then immediately the game's like, oh, you, you think you're not getting boxes? Fine, here, have all the boxes! 
<laughs> it feels weird. Good job there, Gabriel. You murdered him. This is why I like to full clear dungeons. Sometimes they drop boxes. And the boxes are very important. Die. Safeguard all you want, I still punch you. Let's -a go. Ah, the midway point. Are we getting close to the summit yet? We've come quite a ways, so we should be almost there. And now I get the point. Everything away. Make more room for everything. Like, we don't need that trap bust. We don't need these. We're keeping the petrify wand in case I find something extremely annoying and want it to die. Well, let me quickly check over my inventory. We should bring out one more apple. And considering I think there's going to be a boss, maybe a few uh, uh, blast seeds. Uh, first things first. Uh, an apple. An Owen berry. And then... Two blast seeds! Because we're going to be fighting a boss. We're going to kick his ass. He'll be like, So you really were turning Pokemon to stone. You've come for me. And we're going to have to kill him. Raise your attack all you want. This is my attack. Yeah. Hello, Vulpix. Die. You use Confuse Ray, and that's against the Geneva Convention. Paralysis Guard, I'll just... Yep. That makes me wonder, if there was a Geneva Convention in the Pokemon world, would certain moves be, like, disallowed? They're like, General, you are accused of having your Dragonite use Hyper Beam. How do you plead? I plead Hyper Beam! No! <laughs> And now my brain, now my brain said, imagine the war crimes you could commit in the world of Pokemon. <laughs> How many cool bosses were there that I missed? Uh, let's see. The first boss was a Gabite who just wanted to protect his treasure. It was just a misunderstanding. Then we fought, I believe, some Polyraths. Oh, no, we fought a Vespa Queen. Well, no, no. actually, we fought Beedrills and Combees that were working under a Vespa Queen. And then we fought a group of Polyraths. <laughs> then we fought a, a fake Giratina. And uh, then we fought Jirachi, I believe. Oh, hey, Sparkly! We got a calcium! My bones will never have been so amazing. Well, actually, I guess, uh, for the boy. Calcium for the boy. Drink your milk, Gabriel. <laughs> I plead that Hyper Beam is ass. That recharge sucks. <laughs> Granted, I've never really used it. I don't think. I guess I'll give it to you. Might as well. Why waste a decent Imera? <laughs> when forcing Doom Seeds down a Pokemon by torture as a war crime. <laughs> Gen 1 Free should be considered a war crime, to be honest. And then Wish Boy himself. Yep. <laughs> Just like uh, when Bidoof fought him in... Uh, explorers. He was sleep attacking and thought it was all a dream. We're getting a lot of value out of Barrage. I love it. What the fuck? I was wondering, I was like, what's that purple thing? Oh! It's garbage! 
I guess we'll keep it. Who knows? Maybe something will happen. Maybe we, maybe we can give this to Swirlix. <laughs> They're probably a garbage disposal anyway. This music is so good. <laughs> How bad is Gen 1 Freeze? If I remember, Gen 1 Freeze is permanent unless you get hit by a fire attack. I believe that is how Gen 1 Freeze works. Hmm. I'll take that off to deal more damage. Honestly, uh, first things first, where's that grimy food? Get out of here, grimy food. I'll punch you from across the room. Good thing he didn't have anything on him. If he had something that I wanted, I would have cried. I realized as I hit vacuum punch... Wait, he's over lava. If he has something, it's lost forever. Oh, no. I did that once. Lost the thing I wanted. Which it is implied to be the same Jirachi, given he says he was born in Wish Cave. Hmm. Neat. Ooh, power boost Y. Most powerful boy. Confusion guard, I'll just nom you. My HP is up now. Schmick. I will punch you from across the room, Breloom lore. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of Pokemon there, like, I'm going to punch you and not even... Oh, you're a bastard game. Well, at least it was one of my power boosts. <laughs> at least it wasn't my barrage. Another! The power of box is eternal. I don't even know what I get out of them in this game. I just know box. Box is good. Pure seed, nah. Tiny reviver seed, nah. Do I want to eat the apple? Oh. Hmm, is there anything I want to sell? I don't think there's anything I want to sell. I will eat apple. I will then buy Apple. The perfect crime. Once again, I hear the tortured screaming of Swirlix, knowing that somebody is eating in the dungeon while they are not allowed to. Onwards we go. <laughs> Gen 1 is not a game. It is it's experience. It's an experience for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> I'll take an apple and I'll eat it. From Twitch chat. And only certain fire moves thaw you out in Gen 1. It is literally worse than fainting because you are to manually switch after or risk your opponent setting up as a can't move, giving up free turn advantage. Ain't, <laughs> ain't Jin Wo well, That better be somebody who, like, uh, picked up a... A fucking revive a seed and that one wasn't eating mine. Let's see. Good, my, my inventory is still normal, so that means they didn't eat one of my reviver seeds. I would have been very upset. I would have been upsetty regretty. Punch! Well, that's just bullshit. It got barraged. He should die. <laughs> Gen 1 is the most game of all time. In a way, that is, like, actually true. Let me quickly look at what you are. Wait, let me double check. 
Duena move of yours damages it. We're taking this. Because, like, even though Gen 1 has just so many bugs attached to it, the fact is, a lot of people won't notice most of them. So I think it's mostly a win. Do I want to get rid of something? I guess at this deep end, we can replace big ears. Because that means that maybe the boss will hit me. Presuming there's a boss. Oh, you fuck. Another barrage. We, we'll do a double barrage. Uh, honestly, dizzying stare. Luckily, we can cut off the boy and regroup. All according to Kid Kaka. You roll low with my defense, I kill you! At least falling into lava isn't an instant death. That would suck. Dizzying payback? I guess for the boy. Might as well. Why does this dungeon feel small? You fucker! You burn me! I will make a diss track and throw you into Pompeii. No one will find your body. <laughs> the only argument I've heard people give about it being the best is, well, it started Pokemon. Like, yeah, sure, it started, but the game starts can be rocky, and that's fine. I wouldn't call, like, Gen 1 the best by a long shot. And at the same time, I wouldn't call it the worst. I haven't played every generation of Pokemon, and honestly, at this point, I don't even think there is, like, a worst generation of Pokemon. Because, like, each generation has its own cool little things. So I could see, like, uh, it appealing to some people for one reason or another, whether it be nostalgia or... Because, like, for a lot of people, it was their first Pokemon game, and your first of something is always really special. It always is, like, just very nice. Your first of something. And for something as big as Pokemon, your first Pokemon game is very important. Actually, we'll, we'll give it to you. You can be, like, the Payback King. God, there's so much Emera dust. A wakeful looplet. Don't care. Let's adventure around a little bit more. You can burn my items? You whore! Die! You are the bastard! You burn my apple? I will send you to hell! I will find the real Giratina! I will beat up the real Giratina! And then I will annihilate you! Arceus himself will never find your goddamn body. Wait, we don't want to eat an apple. We want to eat an elixir. So I can force palm some bitches. You fucker. You burned the blast seed. How do you even do that? I set the volcano on fire. Feels like an impossibility. At least I brought multiple blast seeds. If we only had one to go up against a boss, that could probably be painful. Oh, you so scary. Die. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Gabriel. Looks like it opens up a bit over here. Let's go check it out! We've climbed pretty far up, but I guess we're still not quite to the summit. Not another step! Where's that voice coming from? Who's there? I'm Magmorta. I won't let you pass. We're here on a trip, trying to reach the summit. Hmm, a trip, ha. Huh? <laughs> the summit certainly is this way. However, this is also the lair of the master here. The master? Yes, the master of Fire Island. Wah! All of us living here on Fire Island serve the Master. Even if you are just here on a trip, there's no way I'll let you pass. Neon, Gabriel, here he comes. I'm gonna battle with all my might. Here I go. Burn. Burn. Oh boy. Well, guess what? Slumber Orb! You might have woken up, but your allies, I will kill them! I can take another shot from you easily. Want well, me to kill your friend here? Ah, he didn't get a hit from Buzel, so that's why. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh shit. Hey, guess what? I have an Orin. I'll take an Orin berry and eat it. And you know what? Force Palm, Psy Beam, Aqua Jet, and we're gonna beat you down! Somehow my barrage has not activated all boss fight. And it shall not. <laughs> Take that, Magmortar. Quick to read chat. I love how he won't even tell Kiratina to kill that man. You're kicking Kiratina's ass to flex before you can kick that man's ass. Dynamax felt unique, plus the idea of a young child just having a Pokemon that can just be the size of a stadium is a hilarious mental image. I'm sorry, I can I cannot take Magmortar seriously with the inverted duck beak mouth and Pepto Bismol ass body. <laughs> it looks like an undercooked hot dog with mustard and ketchup on it. <laughs> My chat just roasting Magmortar. I love that this game has multiple boss themes, this being the first time we've heard one since the village. Oh, that's true, as Jirachi has a different one too. Hmm. This version of the boss theme is called Boss Battle Expedition Society, I believe. Hmm, interesting. <gasps> Amazing! You're so strong, Buzel! <laughs> well, I couldn't have done it without you. Or maybe I could have. I think you might have been overwhelmed a little bit by the end, but uh, if you brought enough reviver seeds, maybe. But something doesn't seem right. It wasn't just Magmortar. I feel like we've been battling forever. We keep taking out enemy Pokemon the whole way up this mountain. This is not the kind of trip I was expecting. You know, I just realized this is the first time that we've acknowledged that we've been battling Pokemon in Mystery Dungeons. Like, sure, there have been the boss battles. That's the first time that we've explicitly said, oh, yeah, there have been Pokemon in the dungeon who we've been fighting. Because most of the time, it's mostly just that, like, oh, like the Minetric tribe, the Luxio tribe from Explorers, the, like, I guess the Pokemon of the Dark Future in Explorers, the beginning of Rescue Team, where, like, oh, Pokemon have been driven mad by the catastrophes. It just, it always intrigues me whenever they actually mention the crazy Pokemon. I was imagining something more laid back. Huh? Buzel, 
do you know something about this? N no Trust me, I know nothing. Nothing. <laughs> one, of the, the, one of the magmar lifts its head. He's full of shit! I mean, I don't really know what's going on, but I'm sure the chief knows what he's doing. We'll probably figure it out if we just go a little farther. Anyhow, let's get moving. And we just leave the magmortar and the magmar face down. <laughs> From Twitch chat. Wait, right. Usually we leave those as headcanon explanations. Could this be the summit of the volcano? Uh, close to it. It's plateauing. Yes, it appears it is. I knew it! It, it is, isn't it? It really is the summit. We did it, Neon! We climbed all the way to the top at last! Is another voice gonna call out and be like, What the fuck are you doing on my lawn? Oh, but I'm still kind of worried. Magmortar did say something about some Master of Fire Island. Who goes there? Who dares into my domain? Oh, hey, it's Inte again. Is it gonna happen? He's gonna be like, you motherfuckers are turning Pokemon to stone. You came to me. Uh, uh, Ente. You, did I not tell you that I would not be so merciful next time? Or are you prepared for what awaits you? Uh, so you're Ente, huh? Who do you think you are? Buzel from the Expedition Society. Depending on what you say next, I'm ready to take you down, Entei. What? Oh, we get a cutscene? Buzel! Is that your answer, Entei? Alright, if that's how it is, all that remains for us is to take you out! Get ready! Immediately bodied. Puzel. Uh, did you overestimate the strength of your matchup against me? Buzel was the one to say, "Oh, but Mawile is strong enough to go through without tight matchup." Carelessness and overzealousness are your weakness. However, this world is filled with spineless Pokémon. I must admire and I I must admit I respect your foolish bravery. I have no choice but to admire your will. And so it is with great respect that I finish you off. Wait! You can't do that to Buzel! We won't let you! Gabriel! Neon! Don't try it! There's absolutely no way you can beat him! Did I not tell you that I would not be so merciful next time if you are still foolish enough to face me? Then so be it! I shall be your end! Well, shit, here's the boss fight. Let's see if it didn't work against uh, the last boy. But how about this? Toss her off! Happy has a, a speedy recovery. Go to sleep. Force palm. Luckily, I have Oren berries. Ha <laughs> ha. Nom. Keep whacking at me. I'll take you down. Wait a minute, I forgot. Uh, blast seeds. I should probably use those. Uh, blast seed. Meh. Oh. We only got halfway through. Darn. Miss that all. Is that all your power? Uh. 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 Well then, who will be next? First is you. 
your end will come first. Neon! Neon! Calm yourselves. With this, it will all be over. What the hell? What was that? What? 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 What is happening? Why is, the, um, why is the world tree? I guess sparkling. Neon, your harmony scarf. Oh, it's resonating with Gabriel's. What is this? What is happening? Oh! Hey, motherfucker! <laughs> We're gonna kick your ass now! Wh what is the meaning of this? This feels weird. Whoa, Neon! You look awesome! Wait, actually, am I? I do not know what has just occurred, but I believe I will now relish defeating you even more. Also, I just realized our uh, scarves are gone. I guess we like absorbed them like mega, like mega stones. Now let us see a display of your true power. Something's different. My body. I can feel the power flowing through me. Very well. I shall be your opponent. Hold nothing back and come at me if you dare! Force bomb! And side beam. Let's go ahead and smack you. And then I'm gonna spit another blast seed in your face. Blast seed! Oh, look at my health. It actually rose a lot. <laughs> Take that. I probably didn't even need my blast seeds for you. Hell yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? I'm bipedal now. <laughs> That was so great. That was amazing. <laughs> Funny also given how much you've talked about evolution and its implications. <laughs> Ante. He's down. And now <laughs> we did digivolve. And got, uh, got our scarves back. We're... Back to normal. Ah, oh, shit. Is he still coming at us? Stop right there! That is not an entrance. Were you just w watching this entire time? Ampharos! And Mawile! Well, well, well. Looks like we made it. Mampharos of the Expedition Society. I should have known. You have come to defeat me. We have kicked your ass twice already. Hell yeah, Mawile kicking ass! No, we're just here to decide whether or not we need to take you down. However, our suspicions have proven unfounded. If you were behind these turning to stone incidents, surely you wouldn't be doing this. Was that your mission? Then... Then leave this place. This is my domain. Indeed. We beg that you forgive our insolence barging into your domain so rudely. We will be leaving shortly. I will believe what you say. These recent incidents are quite troubling. Do you really think you can solve them? I wonder. Seems we won't know unless we try, right? Isn't that why you took action on the air continent in Tay? I am an inevitability! When I feel danger, 
I take action. I see. So that's what all that was about. We thank you for your counsel. We will be leaving shortly. Oh, yeah. Are you okay, Buzel? Yeah, I will be. But forget about me. You kids were awesome. What in the world was that? I don't have a clue either. I noticed our scarves were glowing and all of a sudden we looked totally different. That's what you and Neon look like when you evolve. Evolve? Us? That's right. I don't know why you were suddenly able to evolve like that though. Usually once you evolve there's no going back either. And so that too is quite mysterious. It seems the scarves that you two wear have some secret to them. These scarves have a secret? Left, 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 right, left! We did it! We made it to the summit! I'm done. I'm so tired. Hey, everybody! You've been here a while, huh? I keep changing Archon's voice a lot. <laughs> You should look up the Entei fight song later, by the way. Even more of a banger than the Fire Island Volcano. I'll definitely do that. <laughs> okay, but Lucario's part steel. He should have had his ass handed to him. I don't think he ever hit me with a fire move, I don't think. I gotta go have a nice day, funny YouTuber. Thank you for spending some time with me today. <laughs> you come into my house, knock over my furniture, and accuse me of turning people to stone? What a fool you are! Skeleton Death Blast! <laughs> Another mystery to the pile, and yeah, they aren't just a very cool design addition. I should have known that something was amiss, but that just means that there's more weirdness about Gabriel. Because Gabriel was presumably an orphan left on Caracosta's doorstep wrapped in those scarves. And now when we were at the brink of death, about to be murdered, specifically me too. Specifically me, not Gabriel. Me wearing one of the scarves. A tree activated? With, with like rainbow power and like we evolved all the way up and like... The scarves were missing on the models, which on the one hand could just be they didn't want to model more than like all the starters plus Pikachu and Riolu having like scarves on them. Or maybe it has something to do with Mega Evolution because Mega Stones and accessories also disappear when you Mega Evolve, so I don't know. <laughs> Archon, my beloved. <laughs> It's been a lot of fun, but I've got to go, and thank you so much for this stream. No problem. And thank you for spending some time with me. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. Chief, this is the summit, right? Yes, that's right. And many strange things have been afoot here. It would have been funny if Swirlix was like, So that means that we can have lunch now, right? And Amphros is like, <laughs> No, we're going back down to the base of the volcano. Only for Swirlix to go, What? Would have been funny. And so Amphros told Archon and the others what had happened. What? Did that really happen? Indeed it did. And with that, our field trip comes to a close. Meanwhile, Buzel's just on the ground eternally. Let's hurry home. What? Just when we finally got to the summit. Let's eat our lunches before we go. Oh, we do get it. Normally when it cuts to that black, I only assume that like, oh, we're going to skip ahead quite a ways. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I'm so hungry already that I'm about to faint. Hey, you've been munching the whole way up here. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. No way am I going to let you pass out first. I'm the one who should be complaining about how hungry he is. And I'm about to collapse. Me too. I can't move at all. The slap as they fall to the ground. I've been lying here for a while now, but I think if I got some food in me, maybe I could move. Well, well, well. Looks like hard times have fallen upon you all. Well, Inte, can you hear me? Apologies, but our plans have changed ever so slightly. We'd like to eat our lunches bef here before heading home. Will that be acceptable? Do what thou wilt.
And they all stand up to celebrate. Thank you very much. Well, everyone, let's eat. Let's eat. They summon a table. Munch, munch, munch. Eat up the sandwiches in the lava. <laughs> From Twitch chat, fucking love these goobers so much. They are very silly. I think I still kind of prefer the Wiggly Tough Guild. Like, I don't know. I think it's because you had the Wiggly Tough Guild basically from the start, and they were a very constant thing. But these guys definitely have more personality and variety to them, I feel. And so, our fun... What? Was that fun? Trip came to a close. There were plenty of things I didn't understand today. But the most surprising thing of all was our harmony scarves. When my pops first found me, he said I was already wrapped in them. What could be the secret that these scarves hold? Well, that's not good at all. Well, that's, that's very not good. <laughs> now, something up with Buzel, he ain't normal. He's hiding something. I don't know. He got his ass kicked by Entei. That seems normal enough. <laughs> blows up pancakes with my mind. My fucking pancakes. Give it your all out there, team. Yes, sir. Neon, let's get back to our regular jobs for the Expedition Society. It would be funny if I could, like, oh. Like, for a moment, there was like, is this... <laughs> was that, like, a... Uh... His diary, he was like, it would be funny if I could, like, look at his diary and he's like, Hey, no reading my diary. Especially right in front of me, have you no tact? I was running late to get anything ready for the outing yesterday. Next time we have an outing, I'll definitely have to get ready even earlier. I can't mess this up. I've got to bring it a giant hamper of food all for me. ba 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 of all being so suddenly there on Fire Island, I believe there must be some secrets lurking in those scars you two don. I'm just happy they didn't take them from us. It seems like the outing was quite a bit of fun, judging from Swirlix's mood. Now that our big outing is done with, it's back to the daily grind. <sighs> For a moment there, I thought it said pat-pat, like he was giving us head pats. So how is the outing? Did you enjoy it? How was evolving so suddenly? Was it painful? <laughs> that would be funny. Like, now I have the idea of, like, a comedy comic. Like, Gabriel is just like, Hey, hey, Neon. If we somehow manage to g garner the power of the Harmony Scarves again, we can evolve and look like adults. Then we can get crunk! <laughs> I thought that said a giant hamster of food. Like hamster, but hamster. That would be funny. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba. Honestly, I think I'll just like, hmm. All right, uh, I'll probably sell that grimy food. Oh, we need to take all the boxes. We need to take. I also didn't use my uh, petrify bands. Hmm. Boxes, 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 boxes. My throat is still troubling me, I'm afraid. Such a shame. Drink tea! I was pushing myself too hard with my running before. Now that I'm thinking I should branch out and try lots of different exercises. But I do love running, so I won't be giving that up anytime soon. Don't you think that the songs and flowers go lovely together? I know my parts. You have to know the parts of the song. I'm holding another choir lesson. Let's enjoy singing together. I've recently been hearing some strange tales during my travels about Pokemon being turned to stone and the like. <laughs> From the Twitch chat. Then we can get this stun sheet shake all the grown-ups are talking about. <laughs> Gabriel, what the hell are you doing? Crack! 
Oh, hey, Crocodile's back. This world's rotten, just like everyone in it. I just want to hurry up and end it all of it. Ah, so you're a discount Muna, without any balls to murder people. Mr. Crocodile is always losing his temper. Hey, wanna play Mud Sport? I don't think so. I feel like Crocodile's up to no good again. I hope I'm wrong, though. So maybe Crocodile will be like a depressing Team Meanies. Welcome to the Rock and Lock! Again, for some reason, feels. That sounds like it would be a brothel name for some reason. Clickety click! What this be? Ooh, a gold bar! Very nice. What this be? A dig! What this be? Ooh, calcium! Hell yeah! Clickety click. Uh, swagger. <laughs> With the power of this swagger TM, I can woo Gabriel like no other. And now we will take out like these three loop normal looplets and we can sell them. Healing, wakeful. Honestly, I'll probably sell this gold looplet. I don't think there's a reason for it. It's just like self for big money. And a cover looplet. We'll just sell these looplets so they're just out of my inventory. Sell this grimy food just to get it out of here. I, in fact, do want to sell this. Buy an apple. And stuff. Gotta manage our inventory. And then I'll need to take out another looplet just so, like, uh, allies we bring with us can do things. Let's see. My elixirs are good. I need another apple. And I need my boss stuff. I guess we'll bring a defense looplet for thirds. Extra apple. Three of you. Then a petrify orb. A totter orb. And I do believe we're about ready to go... Do some things. But first things first, I think I heard my doorbell, so I'm gonna go check that out. So, just a second. I hope it seemed it was a full salon. <laughs> From the chat. Neon, come on, let's go watch an 18-rated movie at these scarves! That would probably happen depending on the mind, because who knows? Who knows what's going through Gabriel's mind? What nefarious things... Like, with him, he'd probably think, like, oh, this is an adventure. So let's go check our... Daily D. We have a lot that we can do. We'll grab this, but we're not gonna do it. Please explore the bottom of a dungeon. Valley of Strong Winds, 11 floors at 5 stars. It might just be another bay leaf, like, over difficulty, but I don't know. Dunsparce has gone missing. Again! Well, that seems pretty easy. We might take that one. <laughs> Precious belonging and abundant pass. I lost something very important to me. <laughs> oh god, those scarves make you pay taxes! The ultimate horror. Let's see. We could find Spinarax and Midnight Sun Gorge. Seems pretty easy. 
Cape of Wonders is definitely a do later. Maybe Gentle Slope Cave? That one seems... Defeat Primeape together. Hmm. We'll go find Shield on together. I think we'll we'll help why not. So let's see. Where are you? Battle alongside why not in Gentle Slope Cave. I forgot to check what continent it's on. <laughs> Gabriel seems like the that friend who appears to be the nicest, most innocent person ever, but then they randomly say the most evil and diabolical thing imaginable. Maybe. Tax evasion up to Gabriel's list of crimes. So, water continent should be this one. Should probably bring some blast seeds. I don't want to deposit, I want to withdraw. Well, let's go battle alongside, why not? From Twitch chat, fermented seed shakes are literally what beer is, by the way. So Spinda's bar is like an actual bar. They've got the fruity smoothies that are the gummies and then the hard stuff. Yep, battle alongside, why not? Let's go. Hmm. Do I want to swap Victini out for anyone? Because Victini is psychic, but he doesn't really have him. We can use, like, our combination attack, so we'll bring you along. Let's a go. Beat up Primeape. The funny thing is, like, I actually do have a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story that I'm writing. And, like, one of the things that's going to happen in the story is, like, the main character getting drunk off of, like, a... a, like a a berry drink. Because I figured, like, hey, fermented berries, that's kind of what that's... what That is what alcohol is. So why not? If normal human... Considering the very importance of berries within the world of Mystery Dungeon. Some Pokemon has created... alcohol. A sandstorm has blown in. Except for rock, ground, and steel-type Pokemon, all Pokemon won't restore HP naturally and will gradually take damage. You are a very rude individual. Die. My Force Palm has leveled up. At least we only take one damage per turn. But this is still nice music. I do kind of love and hate that the sandstorm is obstructing my view. You are very rude. Die. And because I have the weather band, I ignore this. Now, wand expert, nom. Well, that's just rude. Oh, that ah, went away. Huzzah! <laughs> Look at those eyes. Gabriel definitely always scheming in that head. He is a fox, after all. That's true. I bite you. Well, now you're just a bastard. Smack. Spite is just a mean thing. Calcium raises special attack for Gabriel. Just 
triple check everything. I use a single elixir to give me back my bite. You, you're a fucker. Spite should be not in this game. It's so stupid. Fuck off. Why are you even trying? You have, don't you have a long range actual attack? The intro to the song is a 5-4 plus 6-4. Also, and when I first listened to my music nerd, brain kind of exploded. 5-4 plus 6-4 rhythm meant to say. Hmm. Very interesting. Hi, <laughs> hello, hello. We're here to fight a primate. That's the primate we're looking for. Okay, first things first. Force Palm. Psybeam. Confusion. We're gonna beat up this Primeape! And now... Let's confuse you. Well, that's just mean. What even is Final Gambit? And why did it do a billion damage? Ah, because it committed suicide. So if I then Force Palm. That just seems like a move to an annoy players more than anything. Also, hi <laughs> out of all the times that the Confusion guy couldn't just look up and away from all of us and miss. Sorry, I was so enraged that I got carried away. I should thank you. Why not? Primeape, sorry now, so everything's so fine. Imagine using, like, Final Gambit on a boss. That would be funny, but probably not practical. Hmm. Eh, sure. Doesn't see, doesn't say anything about anybody being up ahead. Huzzah. What? Was that the sun? It's another hot one today, in it. Ah, uh, it's way too sunny out here. I feel like I'm going to melt. Look at the sun, Jirachi. Tell us its secrets. Hmm, let's see. It really is getting... The sun is getting closer? What? What do you mean? It really is getting closer, isn't it? No matter how you look at it. But Nuzleaf, what? What's Nuzleaf doing here? Are you secretly a member of the society as well, like I theorized? Pardon me, anybody home? Huh, a visitor? Oh, it is a visitor. I'm on my way, hold on just a minute. This is why we need a receptionist. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm the only one here right now. Sorry it took me so long. Well then, what brings you here? Are Gabriel and Neon around here somewhere? Neon told me they'd be coming here. I just came to see how them kids were doing. Like, I understand that you like, uh, going far adventures, but this is still pretty far away from Serene Village, Nuzleaf. And uh, we still have no context to what you multi-day, uh, like, adventures do. As an aside, the game has been mentioning it being hotter than usual all game. I do believe, like, yeah, it's just... <laughs> I didn't expect that to be from the m sun getting closer. I just came to see how them kids were doing. Oh, you know Gabriel and Neon? Sorry, they're out working right now. They should be home pretty soon. Never mind that. Hey, they are here they are! M Mr. Nuzleaf! Nuzleaf? Gabriel, Neon, long time no see. 
What's up? Well, I was ordered out right close to Lively Town on some other business. Decided I might as well come to see how you all doing. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Get a load of this, Mr. Nuzleaf. We were able to join the Expedition Society. Who's it? Who's it? What's it now? I thought you all would really dig in your heels until they let you in, but I never imagined you'd get in so easy. It's been, like, at least a month since we got here. <laughs> so... <laughs> So you were thinking it was going to take us a long time to get in? I thought kids couldn't join the Expedition Society, though. Even if they're just kids, they're full-fledged Expedition Society members. Ampros made an exception for them. Gabriel, who is this Pokemon? He's Mr. Nuzleaf. He was my next-door neighbor. Neon was living with Mr. Nuzleaf back in Serene Village. Oh, I see. Thank you for coming all this way. These two are really giving it their all here at the Expedition Society. That sure enough is nice to hear. I reckon I should thank you for taking such good care of him. Neon, Nuzleaf, I'm sorry. I didn't say goodbye to you when I left the village. Are you still worrying about the way y'all snuck out of the village? Well, you pay that no, never mind. I understand. Everybody wrote a letter saying, yeah, we understand. <laughs> More importantly, you sure do look great, Neon. Well, now... How about the memories of yours? Anything come back to you? We never did tell the Expedition Society I was a human, did we? I see. How about them Behem? Have seen them around these parts? Behem are those Pokemon who were after you, right, Neon? Why are you looking at Nuzleaf when you say that? Have you seen them around Serene Village since we left? I had heard they were hanging around just outside the village when we left. Haven't seen hide nor hair of them. Them Behem attacked me, too, y'all have you know. I done packed up all my things so I can hightail it at any time. But for some reason there, they never did come to the village. I see. I guess it's good that we haven't seen them, but there's something creepy about that. So we have the Behem who are after me. We have legendaries being turned to stone. And we have the sun creeping closer to the planet. Oh, yeah, and then we also have that weird dark voice that said discontent is on the rise and something is now inf dark is infecting the, the super tree that presumably gave us the power to super evolve. I, everything is going to hell. Hey, Neon, what's this about some Pokemon who are after you? You really think we would have told our life story to the society so they could actually, like, maybe give us some information? Oh, yeah. I guess we haven't told all the Expedition Society members about that yet. Gabriel told Jirachi Neon's secret. What? Neon is actually a human? <laughs> all right. Got it. Okay, Neon is a human, right? You sure got used to that quick. I reckon most Pokemon would be quite shocked. Wow, they might say no way or really. Sorry. I guess there's some strange ones in the Expedition Society already. Well, this probably happens all the time, right? No, I reckon it has never happened. But anyway, somebody's after Neon, right? Got it. Leave it to me. Again, how does nobody know about the other humans? There have been more than three. We have the main three that saved the world. Th like the rescue team one that everybody knows is a human. The explorers one, which I don't think that many people know is a human. Come to think of it. And then the GTI one, which everybody knows was a human, because they floated away because they were a human, and everybody in the town said, we are going to remember you regardless. And then there were all the other Pokemon, like, uh, human-turned-Pokemon that the Voice of Life came. Came and added to the world. <laughs> Parallel Universe series, in my opinion. But this is literally the anniversary game with super references to everything. Simi confirming that at least in this one, like, the characters and places of the past games exist, and thus, and presumably also the adventures that happened. <laughs> presumably news of them uh, might be somewhat local rather than worldwide news, but still you'd think that that would still permeate like, you'd think, considering, like, all the how-to-do in Rescue Team of hunting down the human 
and then blowing up a meteor. You'd think the story of like, hey, how'd that meteor blow up would go through. The glacial palace rose and was flying across the land before exploding. You'd think that story would be told. Explorers is a bit more understandable. Actually, wait a minute. Explorers entire thing at the end. Well, I guess like Explorers makes a bit more sense because, again, I don't think that many people knew that the player character of Explorers was a human. The only part that might put a stick in it is the the partner of Explorers. His entire like purpose at the end of the main story was telling what happened, which presumably, well, I guess wouldn't even uh, have the fact that the hero of Explorers was a human because the more important thing was that they're from the future. Which, at this point, if time travel is real, why not humans? <laughs> Got it. Leave it to me. I'll let everybody know so we can all protect Neon together. Well, I reckon that'd be mighty helpful. I'm gonna take my leave of you, then. Sure was nice to see you two doing so well, Gabriel, Neon, and congratulations on joining the Expedition Society. Work hard out there. Take care on your way home, Mr. Nuzleaf. Say hi to everybody in the village for us. Why do I get the feeling that Mr. Nuzleaf is going to get ganked by the BHM on the way home? Especially because he specifically said, I was attacked too, presumably mentioned because he was attacked alongside us. That's what he's mentioning. But he's planned to be able to jump up and run at the moment that the BHM come for him. Why do I get the feeling he's going to get ganked? <laughs> Surely humans becoming Pokemon is a common occurrence by now, right? That is the thing. Because, again, other humans have come here. Gengar was a human. The other humans that were brought by Hydreigon. Like, the only one that wasn't semi-flooded with humans was Explorers. <laughs> to be fair, also, Jirachi is saying it happens. It's also mostly Nuzleaf who's arguing it's borderline impossibility. That's true. Say hi to everybody in the village for us. What? You were? You used to be a human, you say? And you have no memory of it either? And there's somebody after you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they just take everything in stride. Look at that moon. Back there at dinner... When Jirachi told everyone about your past, everybody just accepted it like it was no big deal at all. That's one way of looking at it. I'm pretty sure they just wanted to hurry up and eat. Everybody said they would look out for you if n anything happened. So you could feel safe while we go out on our work for the Expedition Society. Let's get back out there tomorrow. I wonder if I'll ever be able to like manually control the super evolution. I think that'd be cool. Actually, that would be super cool. Like, what if we don't even get to evolve in this game because we are, like, supposedly children? Gabriel is child. The human may be child. But what if, like, to get around that, they're like, oh, congratulations, you saved the world, the uber tree of life, I guess. Like, is now yours to command, and you can just uber power up whenever. Who knows? The next morning. Give it your all out there, team. Yes, sir. What's this? It seems the Pokemon Nexus on the second floor has been updated. Go access the Nexus. Neon, it's another fine day for exploring and expeditions. Quickly glance at these rooms in case they hold mysterious items of report. Um, in the human world, what kind of foods are there? Are they tasty? I have no memory of anything. Would be funny if, like, I have one memory, and that memory is pizza. Why you are here in this world of ours, Neon? That is the myst mystery which I find most fascinating. I imagine we would get some answers if your memory returned to you, but... Hmm. I guess since we're here... 
Oh, it's, is it because... Oh, no, we did rank up. Huzzah! What do we get for it? Your Expedition Society rank has reached bronze! We can now access Pledge Heal. We got ten gold bars, a focus looplet, and other such things. And here's a juicy bit of news. Kobalion seems to have appeared at Pledge Hill. And that's not all. <laughs> you can now listen to these in the jukebox. And what's more, you get a special reward for your hard work. <gasps> yeah! Larger bag. Roger bag. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Riolu got it lucky. All the other MCs got fucking shunned. <laughs> Well, I don't think the Explorer's hero got shunned. Rescue team, there was the Fugitive Arc. Explorers, there was the... Like, again, I don't think we told anybody that we were a human. I cannot remember that moment at all in Explorers. Really, the closest thing was Chatot maybe, maybe not, giving us the runaround on believing us about Dusk Noir. And then in GTI, we just forgot to tell anybody we were human. And I'm fairly certain that most, like, most everybody believed us. <laughs> I have one memory, and that is McDonald's Sprite. <laughs> it's been forever since I've had Sprite. I love that drink. You're 1,500 points from the next rank. Work hard to get to Expedition Society. Just instant connection to all these Pokemon. And then, of course, there's the... Wow, we zoomed way out. At that one dungeon, a Cobalion, I think? I forget what they said. So about you being a human and all, Neon, well, I guess it really wasn't that surprising of news to me. Whenever I transmit to you, Neon, I've always felt there was something a bit different compared to other Pokemon. You've transmitted to us? I don't remember that. <laughs> my, my. That was quite the surprise. While little Neon is a human. I know we all seemed to accept it quite quickly last night at dinner, and I, of course, never lose my impeccable calm and composure. But I was truly shocked. <laughs> I'm glad that everything worked out for you, Neon. See, everyone said they'd look out for you. And now I'll become a god of this world. That would be kind of funny if we played a mystery dungeon game where the human is, like, actually a really bad human, but they become better through being a Pokemon. I think that'd be neat. I'm coming to Lively Town. All coming to Lively Town always puts me right at ease. It's a great town, all right. I draw upon the flowers with their hidden powers to follow and serve me. So you're, you have an army. So what should we play today? I want to play tag! And we should catch one another by biting! But I don't want to get bitten. Bite me and I'll shock you big time as long as you don't mind that. Oh, the things I could say but shall refrain. Let me quickly check my... But I'm just so happy that we got a bigger bag. I guess we'll buy this. We have a bigger bag. We can do more things. We can kill God. We also got like 10 gold bars, so if I wanted to, I could get one of those move power-up things. I wish I knew like how much it did. Hmm. <laughs> Follow the link, but we cannot. Vampy, you coward. Fiscal harm is the best part about tag. <laughs> you know, has Arceus been in a PMD game? I think only as a statue. Not sure about anything else. Because I think there might have been a statue in one, and then, like, a reference at one point. Hmm. 
Power points don't seem to be much of an issue, especially now that I have a bigger bag. Maybe accuracy, but I really want to reuse my power. But that power, though. I just I, I don't know which is better value, to raise my overall stats or to raise the power of a move. Because I'm definitely keeping Force Palm and raising its power up. Well, I guess first things first, we should probably check and see anything new here. What's new here? Oh my, I must have lost it accidentally. A three in the mystical forest. Can you beat me, clunk clunk? Valley of Strong Winds is going to be a painful expedition. We are strong, no way we lose. At Sunny Spot Hill. Apparently he's supposed to be easy. Hey Zorark. Come to my secret base full of illusions, mwaha. <laughs> Valley of Strong Winds is gonna be hell. Cause that's definitely not gonna be tea time. I'd like you to visit my place. Cape of Wonders is also going to be painful. Well, if you kill Kobalion, you can get an item that lets items you throw pierce through multiple enemies. This lets you throw vitamins through your player and partner with a third Pokemon? Oh, that is interesting. Oh, I think I want to go fight Kobalion now. <laughs> Even if that is kind of cheatsy, if that is true, that sounds super freaking cool. But warning, Cobalion is very tough. Hmm. Let's see. Let me see. Da -da -da. Let me check. We have a Petrify Revive. We should, uh, no matter what. Even though bosses, like, seem to be very hardy bastards. Let me check and see how many, like, tools I have, but... I think I'll just always have my Blast Seeds on me. Let's see... Slumber, Totter, Petrify. I've been thinking about getting the 3DS PMD games just because the streams have me in the mood. <laughs> they are very fun. Probably bring your Salamence Dragonite and Alakazam. Your player and partner will still get XP. Hmm. That's true. So just <laughs> cheese it. Maybe, maybe. Because that does sound like a cool item. You can now go to Pledge Hill. <laughs> oh, it even has, like... Hey, you fight a boss here thing. Oh, I wanted to actually look, look at it. It's weird that it's not letting me actually look at the stats of it. it <laughs> unlike all the other ones. I guess it's because it doesn't have a mission. Or am I, am I just not staying on it long enough? That's also probably it. Okay, we wait, we stay. There it is. It just takes a while for it to pop up. So, <laughs> difficulty, very difficult. And it's ten floors. Also very difficult. What about you, Serpentine Serp Serp Mountain Trail? Difficult. Oh, Dungeon Info, press L. I'm an idiot. A 
a little context, this dungeon is meant to be done early post-game, so it's around late level 40s. Hmm. Let me quickly see. Rescue mission for Vaporeon. I'm going to click on this one. Just to quickly, like, manage my team a little bit, see things. Let's see, what members do I have? <laughs> we do not have Hoopa. Then again, he's not really a guy. By level. So I could, like, because I don't know what typing Cobalion is. Well, we could probably cheese it. <laughs> I miss when Pokemon spinoffs were uh, more frequent. Shout out to the 17 people who still remember Poke Park. Poke Park, literally my childhood wonderful duology. I don't think I ever played them. I think I've only ever heard good things, though. God, I love Poke Park. I think it was the first game I ever 100%ed. Hmm. You know what? Considering we were informed on that, we get a special thing. Why don't we try and beat up Cobalion with this little cheesy method? This is not in the spirit of things, but oh well. I think it would be funny to do this. And then Sentiments. We're the Psychic Dragon crew now. Because I just think it might be funny to do. Oh, use Halucha to give them good moves. How do I do that? I don't know how to do that. Because I... Can we just go to Halucha and do it for, like, anybody? I don't think I've ever... I've never used Halucha, so I don't know how he functions. Ah, cool. Psycho cut, but low accuracy. Has high critical hit rate. It's just for me, I thought I was like, oh, I need to have the person with me to do it. Well, first things first, he has teleport kinesis, reflect, and confusion. Well, that's not good at all. Definitely want to remember that. Warps you somewhere on the floor. Lowers the enemy's accuracy? That could be good. So yeah, definitely use, like, Kinesis. A bit. Watch me and remember the move. I'll just slam me that crap! Oh, okay. Alkazam forgot reflect and remembered Psybeam. Maybe disable could be good, but it could also be bad. We also have recover. Looks like, uh, how much health do you have? Doesn't seem to tell me your health here. Definitely want psychic. And, uh, get rid of, uh, Teleport. We definitely need new moves for these guys. Oh, top right of the card. I'm an idiot. 80 out of 80. Meanwhile, this guy's Fire Punch, Twister, Hurricane, and Thunder Punch. I don't think Twister is all that good. Let's see. Thunder Wave paralyzes an enemy. That could be nice. Boost travel speed and all that useful. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe safeguard plus outrage could be funny, but I... I am not a tactical person all that much. I would say, remember Thunder Wave. 
Let's see. Well, we'll get rid of Twister, that little accuracy and stiff. Because Thunder Wave could paralyze the guy, which could be fun. Let's see, Dragon Tail, Fire Fang, Rage. I don't know Cabalion's type, which could be an issue. Ooh, Flamethrower. Could you leave him with a burn? That's such a good thing. Fighting Steel, so Flamethrower is double good. I'll get rid of Rage. For me, there is no difference for secondary typing. I just like, ah, oh, they have two types. I think that's a good setup, maybe. And now we can, uh... Well, first things first, I guess I'll save. If I ever want to save Scum. This would probably be the time. And now let's go to apparently a post-game dungeon they give you... Early? Like, it's an early post-game, but still. Off we go to Pledge Hill, I guess. Off we go. I probably should have brought more items. I'm an idiot. Well, this is funky music already. Oh! This is a remix! Ooh! Ah, of course there's a spin trap. Why did the fuck did they put a spin trap here? That's just mean. Okay. And then I will retake control over Alakazam so he doesn't do that again. God, you're in it. Why? That move should just not be in the game. Stop. It's so mean. I hate things that just fuck with my strategizing. So you're an ice type, so I'll just confuse you. Well, we got a box. That's always nice. Apple. It's just so mean to put a confusion tile right there, blocking me from getting my beloved Imara. But hey, Solomon has more health, I guess. It's almost like that's the point. It can be the point and still be obnoxious. Because <laughs> that is an obnoxious design de decision. And it bothers me with its existence. Because it can make sense and still just be very, very annoying. Because it's less, this is my brilliant plan, and more like, <laughs> just little <laughs> evil. That's all it is, is evil. Oh, 
We're just gonna speed run this. It's just like, look at uh, Bennett Foddy's getting over it. Everything is the point. God, it still makes people rage. Because there is a value of being like, oh, it's there because of the value of difficulty it adds. But it can still just be a bothersome difficulty addition that I do not like. <laughs> it serves a purpose, and a purpose it does bother me with. Because it is there to be like, hey, careful, your bag isn't always safe. But still, definitely Alakazam. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> I would say, uh, like, agree if, like, ah, like, uh, the decoy seeds. But at the same time, these koi seeds are very rare, but at the same same time, this is like a, a semi-post-game dungeon, so kind of a point for it to have like uh, a bit of like, oh, oh, oh you should uh, be a bit, a bit prepared for this. But again, it's just kind of like, uh, I only just got like a better like, bag upgrade. And I forget how many, like, uh, bag-destroying things I've run into yet. Or if I even have at all. Beyond this. But it's still a bothering, like, difficulty thing to do. At least personally. It's not like the enemy has bags that I can screw with, so it feels very mean of the game to do that to me. I think it's also to punish Blast Seed spamming for this part of the game. That's also true. I did get blasted with a Blast Seed right there. But I don't know, it's just like... I do not like it messing with my bag. It is evil. It is the sign of the devil. enemy and kill him. At least there's good music for all this bag snatching. It's a summon trap. An enemy Pokemon will appear close to it. Huh. <laughs> it didn't work, idiot. Uh, we'll quickly grab this line of Emera. Well, that's just an. That's just, I also think Spite is an annoying ability. But I understand it too, because it's kind of like, oh. Un like, annoy the player a bit by. using up their uh, power points and being like, oh, you need to have elixirs. But it's still one of those things, I can understand their purpose and still be bothered by it. Although there is like a little bit of weirdness with this game because there isn't really a, like, what's the word? 
because there hasn't been like a difficulty slope. It's mostly like, hey, what can you take on? It doesn't really like block off certain things from you. So you can just go. Because, again, like, imagine being a kid and you're like, Ooh, I can go fight a legendary. You get here. It's hell. Oh. Never knew that. <laughs> I thought it was a normal diddly D. How dare you? I sidebeam you. We're just gonna power through this and hope we can beat Kalbalion. And given the game does give you access to Pokemon of this level, that's also true. Hell yeah. Power boost Y. Die. And then right before we get to the stairs, I'll, like, up everybody's, like, elixir levels and stuff. Psybeam. Hmm, paralysis guard. What do you give if I just eat you? HP? Sure. Nom. It could also be that it was just happening so much. So many Pokemon were like, I'm going to steal from your bag now. And it was just an ongoing torrent of pain. Kind of like early on where all the enemies were outspeeding me. Also painful. And there's sparklies. Psybeam. A max elixir. I shall drink that. Quick orb. That eh, doesn't really... Well, actually, since we're going to be using elixirs, we can grab that and bring it along. We can try to use the petrify wand as well. All right. Just give you your stuff a little bit more. And go ahead and give a max elixir to Salamence so he can spam his flamethrower at the enemy. Let us go. Oh, hey, a cutscene. Neat. Like, this technically isn't a post-game dungeon, yeah, given it's unlocked through during the story. It's just that the level and difficulty. But you have the tools to challenge it if you so want. Also true. Nice music. How about you slumber? Psybeam. Yeah, and even burned. Now he's the stuff is halved. Oh, that's mean. Oh, double mean. Didn't even ask me to heal him with a berry. Kinesis! Oh, it failed to affect him. Oh, because he has the shield. I'm a dumb. Goodbye, Cabalion. Huzzah! 
You are strong. My steely body and mind face defeat. You are truly strong. I may leave you now, but I'll be on your side upon your request. Water looplet. Very cool. You have defeated Cabalion. The companions have won! And there's the reason I wanted you to go here in the post-game. This theme changes to post-game legendary theme. A boss battle of great powers. But here it's still the rock and roll. Huh. Oh, that you wanted me to go here now. Yeah. Interesting. And by Cabalion's introduction. I probably won't use these overpowered mons for normal stuff. I'll probably stick to like using Victinian stuff. And we only got 150 for that. Amusing. I'll have to look at that water looplet. Because, like, does the one who wear it do the throwing? We'll have to experiment with that. It's so hot. Phew. It's been so hot lately. I can't take it anymore. We certainly have had a lot of hot days in a row. The sunlight feels stronger than usual, too. Neon, it's time like these that you just have to eat a ton. If we eat enough, we'll get our energy back. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> Best not to backseat min max too much, I personally say. Definitely. I won't, like, do it too much. It's just like whenever I get a... Like a vitamin, I might do the throw thing. But I'm not going to be like, Oh, I'm going to go and get all the vitamins right now. Kind of thing. But just kind of a neat thing to, like, maximize the vitamins. Because I still think the game is going to kick my ass because I'm an idiot in some places. Now I think about it, I'm pretty hungry right now. Let's go, let's go home. Immediately runs. Gabriel always recovers so quickly. Have you heard? Yes, I have. I bet spilt... I completely forgot the voice I gave you. About the Pokemon being turned to stone, right? All terrifying, in it? Talking about the Pokemon that have been turned to stone. It reminds me of Latios and Latias. Those Pokemon were turned to stone on the air continent. Who would do such a thing and why? I think Ampharos suspected Entei, but it looks like he was wrong. There's something not quite right about this heat wave, too. What in the world is going on? Ah, back underwater. Hey, Kyogre, are you also going to be frozen? Is that why Waylord got frozen? They thought th that Waylord was you? Turning to stone? Oh. It's even happening to legendary and mythical Pokemon. Something's after us, trying to turn us to stone. Who could be behind all this? And where will they strike next? Interesting. They showed a bunch of legendaries across all the diddly -dees. Well, I need to go now. I'll see you later. See ya, see ya. Thank you for joining on by. The next morning. What? I'm warning you, say. Yes. These incidents of Pokemon being turned to stone have been wreaking havoc all over. And now we know that someone is sending out warnings. Arjun, I'm sure you remember seeing Latios and Latias. Turned to stone on the air continent. It seems they too were issued warnings. Oh, well they lived on the grass continent. I guess they saw the warning and tried to run away. So that's what they were doing on the air continent. But they were caught and turned to stone. Well, Latios and Latias are legendary Pokemon. It would seem that legendary Pokemon are being targeted. But what about Waylord? <laughs> Waylord is not a legendary Pokemon. <laughs> legendary Pokemon? Yes, the culprit has set their sights on legendary Pokemon, gave them warnings, battled them, and turned them to stone. Well, it didn't really battle Latios and Latias unless you could, like, call it a battle of racing. 
who could be behind such nefarious deeds. I haven't the faintest idea. I suspected Ente of being behind it, but I was mistaken. Gabriel, Neon, I haven't told you this yet, but we've been following these cases for quite some time now. We can't just ignore them if we want to preserve peace in our world. Not legendary, but it was mentioned to be a big important figure, or effectively a power move. Hmm. The villain we're searching for is out there somewhere. Whether or not it's a Pokemon, or something else entirely remains to be seen. Are there even anything in this world that aren't Pokemon? We'll increase our efforts to solve these incidents. Well, I guess technically the bitter cold, but meh. Up until now, I'd assigned Archon and Buzel to the task. Bunnelby, Marwile, from now on you two will be joining them. You got it. Understood. What about us, Amphros? Please continue with your usual work. What? We could help with those incidents too. The creation of the world map is also of great importance. However, rumors of Pokemon being turned to stone are spreading through the plaza. Should you discover any promising leads, please contact Didene. What about me, huh? Should I help too? I'd like you to continue your observation of the stars, Jirachi. I consider that to be equally vital work. Got it. Very well then, everyone. All right. These Pokemon are very motivated now. All right, power up these motivated Pokemon in an adventure. So now the story's definitely getting a rolling. It's frightening to think about Pokemon being turned to stone. I better eat a bowl I still can. I, I don't think food in your stomach is, like, going to preserve you if you get turned to stone. It looks like my own research may be put on hold for the foreseeable future. They'll need my help on this case as well. I hope you two will continue doing your uh, work for the society like usual. But if you do happen to learn anything about these incidents, well, share them with Dedene, will you? If you learn anything that seems like it might be important, do tell me. So they're coming after legendary Pokemon, are they? I wonder if I'll be targeted sooner or later than too. Oh, but if they do, then I guess it'll actually make it easier for, for us to find out more. That would be kind of disturbing because they would have to come here because you don't really leave the society. How terribly frightening. Pokemon being turned into stone, you say? They're even sending out warnings ahead of time about their victims. Meanwhile, these Kecleons have not had anything to say lately. Let's see, what do you have to sell? Ba, ba, ba. Let's see. Water looplet. Ah, that's the trade-off. It makes items thrown by the holder fly endlessly. And the trade-off is that it has only very few looplet spots. That's a nice thing. I've never seen any Pokemon turn to stone or nothing. All the adults are acting scared. It's not likely to happen here. It's all in some strange other places. I overcame sorrow to become strong. Well, I mean, you wear the skull of... Like, uh, like presumably your family. Oh, yeah, calcium. To be fair, this is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon where they gave Kiram the power of precognition. Something that is definitely not anywhere else. <laughs> so we can never know who the real monster is.
who they are, what they are, who knows? Oh, hey, it's a timber. Let me know if you want a house built. Me and my boss will work on it. News of those Pokemon getting turned to stone is really flying around the town, huh? And of course, once the rumors get out there, they just grow and grow. We've got to do something before this nonsense gets out of hand. I don't want to talk to you. I want to look at my box. I guess we can put away a decent amount. Hmm, let me quickly check. Hmm, should probably bring more revolver seeds just to be safe. You never know when the game might get the best of me. Oh, wait, I need to quickly check my connection. And only one thing has been activated, but we shall grab it. Oh, hey! Verizian! We'll go do Verizians. We'll go rescue Keldio. Oh, Stonefield, there's two here. Huh, Dunsparce and Keldeo lost in the same place. That's funny. Off we go to Stonefield. <laughs> and they're all gone. That's amusing. We'll bring everybody back. And let's see, of the... I guess we'll bring Charizard. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's bring Charizard along for being motivated. He may not be a unknown, but a. Please help me look for Dunsparce, please. Lullaby. I'll use that. Schmeck. It's sleeping. How can I miss? This is nice music. You are going to give me that power boost X. That power boost X is going to be mine. Okay, this is just giving me everything I need to succeed in life. There was a ton of emeralds on this floor. Again, these guitars remind me of so many other games. That's why, if it isn't you with what I put... Oh, there's another bag on in here. Is it you? Do you have my darling? Power boost X. Mwahaha. Oh, I, I used the wrong move. I tried to force palm him from very far away. Bow. I will take your money too. Oh wait, you're ghost type. It always looks like it should be something other than ghost type. I always think like, ah, rock slam. That's not a rock. 
Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. I guess we'll have that along just in case. I think I might have just enough moves to get uh, paralysis guard. I'll just nom it. Why is that ponytail so fucking fucking off? Get out of here. He's like, you miss me. You miss me. Just over and over and over and over and over. Oh yeah, I forgot the calcium. Since I don't really use that, I'll just go ahead and... We don't really have special attacks for me. I'm a fighter. So you go, boy. Strike it from afar. We'll quickly glance... Uh, well, yep. I've just butchered like five words there. We'll just glance around the other rooms quickly. And then use the... I'll go ahead and leave. Someone seems to be ahead. Let's a go. Wow, Dunspar got further in than Keldio before needing to be saved. That's hilarious. And a power boost Y in here. That's going to the boy, you know. For the boy. You'd think that after everything you've been through, you'd be able to get out of here. Did you sprain an ankle? Wow, you saved me! Thank you! I got lost and needed help. Now I can go back. Thanks! The client Verizian will be thrilled. I wonder if she and a Mulga are... Well, yeah, she's connected to a Mulga. No, I don't want to escape. We've got more people to save. And it would just be very rude to go, We solved Keldeo. We don't need to go save Dunsparce. Dunsparce is a good man. Die. I said die. Why are all the ponies as super fast? I get it, they're horses, but still. Just gotta play the musical tat, uh, tat, stat reset tile. Another barrage. Guess I'll uh, get rid of the super critical. And another power boost X. I almost lost out on that. Thank you, Gabriel. I'll honestly get rid of Alliance Expert. There's no boss battles as far as I can tell. And Alliance is only really good, at least for me, for boss fights. Emeralds are just so cool as a mechanic. <laughs> so now you have Lock, Amulga, Dunsparce, and Verizion. That's a full team of Gates Infinity. Gates to Infinity references right there. Ooh. Is that a very, very good thing? Let me see. Oh, no. Hmm. I guess it just comes with Poison Guard, like, for this dungeon. I wonder why it has a star next to it, if it's just like... I watch because it says it did litty. Yeah, get annihilated, giraffe rig. 
you jerk. Lowering all our stats. We gotta save Dunsparce from the evils of this dungeon. Like, no offense to Dunsparce, but out of everyone, he is the most likely to need help in a dungeon. Gabriel, why would you do that? I'll save you from this water attack that'll do more damage to me. Gotta bring a Mulga nearby. There you go. There you are. I've been looking for you, Dunsparce. I'm so glad I found you. Thanks, Mulga. <laughs> Soon I'll have everybody from Gates to Infinity. I'll, I'm collecting them. Yeah, sure, let's exit. Huzzah! Looks like you've earned a reward. Munch, munch, munch. It feels like it's been a while since we've had a normal munch, munch, munch. Hmm. And I feel like that will be that for now. I feel like we did a lot. We had a lot of story stuff happen. We went and fought Entei. Discovered that our Harmony Scarves are super powered. And uh, had a lot of foreshadowing and like extra story added. Saw a bunch of legendaries being warned. <laughs> and I come back right as the stream ends. Man. <laughs> but... It's mostly because I feel like this is a good place to end. We've been going for almost three hours-ish. It is getting a bit warm here. So, so it's just like, it feels like a nice place to end because it does feel like more stories about to happen. So we can get the ground running, hopefully, next time. Kind of like how we were able to get the ground running on this stream by going on the expedition. But this is super, super cool. Lots of fun, lots of fun, even even though it feels like we haven't, like, made that many connections on the overall since there's 720. And we're only two boss fights from the end, but we'll have to see. And then there's the post-game. I have no idea what the post-game could be. And so it'll be interesting. I wonder if it might take from Gates to Infinity, where we play as, like, the partner after the human leaves the world... Who knows? Maybe the post-game will be about the Behem. Who knows? Maybe the post-game will finally lead us up Revelation Mountain. Basculin is final boss. The ultimate enemy. But yeah, I think that will be it for now. There's more to do. Like, a lot of things were set up here. Lots of foreshadowing. The sun is getting closer. We saw a tree give us power, and apparently that tree is getting corrupted. <laughs> the post game is going to be a fair bit, but it's good. That's always nice. Hopefully once I've leveled up good and have my main team with their stats buffed, the post game won't be bad. <laughs> Hopefully by then I have good amount of decoy seeds <laughs> and a big enough bag where I don't feel bad for having them. But yes, thank you very much for watching everybody. Oh hell no, nah. PMD thinks it, it's Majora's Mask. <laughs> But if you want more from me, I have a link tree that links to all the things that I do. Linktr.ee slash wings, Or direct links in any description by or link place on most sites, I do believe. In my link tree are links to like my edited YouTube content YouTube channel. I, sw I swear I am making scripts and stuff, but his brain is being a bitch. And then there's also... 
my drawing on various websites. If you want to see more, like my little character in the corner or stuff like my thumbnail and insulate art. And then if you like uh, for streaming, if you want to watch me live or watch these like uh, after the fact, then you can follow me on my Twitch or streaming YouTube channel, whichever is your preference. And then watch the veritable deluge of streams I've done in the past on my YouTube channel of streaming. As I upload all these VODs there for posterity, as well as so they don't take up too much space on my computer. For my brain just going, hey, we should keep all the footage so we can do a review later. Brain is stupid. Other such things I do is writing. There are links to some sites where I throw my writing up on there. If you want to read those stories, like that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story I mentioned a little earlier. I really need to get back to that. But the final thing should be my Patreon, which is just a little donation box for people to throw dollary dues my way if they so please to do. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, stay kind and hydrated. And next time, we'll see what other story beats do happen. If we'll find out the secrets behind the Harmony Scarves, whatever backstory is behind Gabriel, if Mr. Nuzleaf does get jumped by the Behem, any kind of thing. But yes, thank you for mu very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>